Okay, Richie Valens fans, like I promised you, here's where uh, Richie was discovered in January of 1958 at the San Fernando American Legion Hall at 602 Pico Street in San Fernando. Now, there's a discrepancy either. They said Bob Keen actually showed up or he was referred here by a kid that knew uh, Richie at Richie's High School. Doug Machia, as he was delivering uh, business cards to Don Keen's house in Silver Lake, he told him, hey man, you gotta hear this guy, we call him the Little Richard of uh, the San Fernando Valley. And, uh, or there's another discrepancy that they said that there was a talent scout that knew uh, Bob Keen, and he happened to be here that night at what they called a rent party, quote unquote, in January 58. He was playing with the uh, Silhouettes, his group that he, he uh, joined at 16. That was Gil Rocha, Vibraphones, Conrad, Nino Jones, Drums, Black Guy, Frankie Gar Gallardo, Piano, and Walter Takaki, a sax player, Japanese American. And uh, this just took uh, Richie's fast trajectory in life. It was only eight months from May when he got signed to Bob with Bob Keane to uh, February of, of 1959, when the day the music died. It only lasted eight months, and here you go. The American Legion in San Fernando. And thankfully, it's still here, original. Looks exactly the same it did. And here, on what would have been uh, Richie's 18th birthday, Connie accepted the gold record for Donna at a poignant memorial dance that they had here. And there's a photo you can see on YouTube, uh, on the internet. Uh, Richie, he, uh, he influenced a lot of Hispanics in America. And uh, Los Lobos were influenced by him. Selena, Freddie Fender, even Bob Dylan. The Midnighters from East LA. Trini Lopez. The Rascals from New Jersey. And even R.E.M. I think they're British. Uh, La Bamba became the model for the 1961 Isley Brothers hit, Twist and Shout. That's where, where that song came from. And I was going to say a factoid about Richie. He pioneered the use of rhythm guitar as a lead rock and roll instrument. A style which inspired uh, Johnny Ramone, Robbie Robertson of, of the band who backed Bob Dylan and Pete Townsend. And if you want to know what that means, is just listen to the opening bars of uh, Pinball Wizard. And that's like a rhythm guitar with just chords used as lead. So uh, during, during uh, his lifetime, believe it or not, there were only three records. There weren't even any albums because his, his uh, career was just so short. And I'll tell you what they were. The first one was uh, Come On Let's Go. That reached number 27 and Framed. That was a B-side. And then Donna reached number two, La Bamba, 20, uh, number 22 in the Billboard charts in December of 1958 and then a third 45 Fast Freight and then Big Baby Blues and then a year later after in 1960 around the time of his anniversary uh, after the Winter Dance Tour when he was killed uh, they released uh, uh, Richie Valens in concert at Pacoima Junior High and at this American Legion he was playing with the Silhouettes, his band that he, he uh, joined at 16, that was Gil Rocha on vibraphones, like I said, Conrad Nino Jones, drums, Frankie Gallardo, piano, and Fra Walter Takaki and, and on, on sax, and that's pretty much way ahead of its time because it's a very multicultural band at the time. Uh, he was still, he, was, he had just graduated from San Fernando I mean, I'm sorry, Pacoima Junior High School in 57, and he had started at San Fernando High School in 58. And uh, thankfully this place, it looks original. And uh, okay, and I just wanna say one more thing. When Gail Smith asked him on the way home from Guardian Angel Church, what he would do at the plane crash. He said, hell, he goes, I'd land on my guitar, he said. And then another factoid about My Little Susie, that was uh, Connie's friend's little daughter and she had a club foot 
and she was the sweetest little girl with the biggest prettiest brown eyes a beautiful smile and when she walked she'd walk walk to the she'd rock to the left and rock to the right and then and then Richie would say that's my little Susie and he wrote a big hit and uh, it was a great song so too bad we lost this guy this young man this wonderful artist the first Hispanic American rock and roll star eight months and it was gone so let's hope he's in a better place and God bless you Richie wherever you're at good night good night sweet prince